Four knights. I'm in unknownsville now. I'm hoping, loss in tempo in developing other pieces. Hoping there's no actual rationale for this particular move of the knight. So how can we take advantage of it? It just looks odd. It looks like it has lost some tempo in terms of developing pieces, um, managing the center. Um, but we'll see, just attack the knight, see what it's doing. So it's attacking our bishop. So we can take the knight for free. And if the bishop does take, then yes, it does unsettle the um, castling rights for our king. So it's not, not saying stone that this is completed by any means. It's um looks like the opponent has stalled. Oh, they've gone backwards. It's got two on one on this pawn. So there might be method in the madness. Let's just support this pawn. I was going to bring my bishop here to attack, but then a boomerang effect would be to grab the pawn here. So I'm just going to try and take it easy now, he's blasting again with the knight, we could hit the knight, nothing supporting here or here, so I'm going to hit the knight. It looks like a definite case of not working pieces together, but you have to prove it and take advantage of it, so this is why I'm being very cagey, as usual, because you never know with chess whether you're being set up by a new type of strange opening and then suddenly you fall for it and you get checkmated so we're just being steady just trying to make sure that we're covered let's do another night move so i'm actually just going to castle i'm not ignoring it we were potentially looking to move here for a discovered check but he's again moving with the knight so we can take the knight for free with the bishop Still maintaining focus targeting as best possible. I'm happy with my position. Not really looking to extend out because this opponent has opened um, very crazily. So they may be just a, a mad person that suddenly gets... Let's have a look. See, we could go here, but then it just drops the pawn. So I'm not really wanting to entertain those sort of things. I'm going to just bring the queen here. I'm going for a simple attack on the bishop. Don't want to overextend. If we're extending, I want it to be a positive extension. That's causing a bit of a problem for the opponent. Give them something to think about. Try and improve our position. All part of the answer process. And it's probably going to take them. But we will just attack the bishop, just keeping it real simple. Does capture there's elements of this if we squeeze here type situation. could attack their queen or we could bring the knight up like we said looking to get to this position but I think once we jump here maybe the pawn's just going to drop could take but then his rook has got the x-ray through I suppose in a way we could go to this side so shall we follow that maneuver up because at the minute this the bishop is being blocked there's no real major threat only thing I can see is this, or if he's a little bit clever, he brings his queen here. I'm 
it's not quite there, is it? But um, and it's defending this. So we have the idea of potentially coming here. So we can still attack the rook. And the rook moves. And then we can take the pawn and we're on the rook. It's a lot of work for these two pieces. I don't want to fall foul of anything. So I'm going to bring the queen through and attack. But it's going to queenside castle, isn't it? So the rook is supporting the rook. Just saw that as I put the queen down. Now my knight doesn't have any protection on, but his rook doesn't. And we can't take there because the bishop's protecting. Let's take here. Have I got my queen trapped? Not yet. Queen's down, it's attacking the pawn on the bottom, the knight's defended, the bishop's defended. Queen could come down and just put a check on the king. Could attack their queen. It's on this pawn. So it's a greedy munching queen. Can we improve our position towards their king? Knight can jump here attacking this pawn. Let's put the check on the king first. I can put a check on the king, but it's got no defense on it. So, put a check on the king, king moves across. Put a check on the king, it's unlucky the queen is just there. Let's put the check on the king. Queen can fit there, but the queen will just take it. So put a check on the king. He's been put in a little box. Put a check on the king, and he escapes here. But we can take the pawn, and we're on their bishop. And we're now defending the pawn. Or he just pushes the pawn down. I think he'll just push the pawn down, won't he? Okay, so now we can attack their queen with the rook. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's attack the queen, takes the pawn here. Then we can move across. Then he pushes down, then we push up. And it's almost there, isn't it? Go here, pushes the pawn, queen goes up, puts a check on. Comes down for the knight. Oh, doesn't. Take the queen. So it looks like a complete move order of things but we've tried to be careful all the way through the game you know right from the start it's still playing on okay so i'm gonna push the pawn here bit of a outpost type thing for the queen let's put the check on Still playing on, still playing on, right. Okay, so let's take. Let's try and get this knight up into the game. Let's go here. Let's try and be up and up. Now he's blocking stuff off, doesn't want us getting in the game. Let's put this rook here, tuck in this undefended pawn. Just trying to cause problems. Giving them questions, see if they can provide some answers. Let's just grab a 
think I want to probably maintain pressure. Bishop, bishop, bishop. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Onto the bishop. If the rook gets here, then we've got a 2 on 1 here on the pawn. Okay, so that might be all she wrote because I don't think there's anything that can defend the pawn now. Okay. 